I see this question asked often enough that I'm gonna answer it in today's video. How do I get smooth playback in DaVinci Resolve? Welcome back to Create a Reality, my friend. I'm John, and I've been editing for four and a half, five years now, and I come across this all the time. I'll be editing along, and there's several reasons for it. A lot of the time for me, it's too many audio effects being applied to a timeline, causes the playback to stutter, you get 15 frames per second instead of 30, etc., etc. So I've got several ways to smooth that out. Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what we're working with. Here I have a random clip in my timeline and it's 4K 30 and it, it plays back pretty smooth. You can see up here, it's sort of dipping down, right? Now, yeah, you see it there when I started playback. It got a little bit choppy and it smoothed out as Resolve buffered the footage. Now, if you're shooting in 4K and 60 frames per second, this is gonna be a little bit more um, common for you. For me, it's not too common, but here's a place where it is common. If I take this whole clip and right click and change the clip speed to let's say 800%, Ripple timeline, boop. Okay, it's really short, we'll disable the audio. And then I play this back, you can see we're at 12.4 frames per second and then it tries to catch up. Now, the first thing you can do completely outside of Resolve is to have your footage on solid state drives. SSDs, as they are more commonly known, are much faster than the old rust disks or spinning platter disks, hard disk drives, HDDs. I store all my footage on SSDs. I will leave a link below to the SSD I've been using for years. I think it's a sand disk, one terabyte. Works great, then I move the footage off onto an archive disk when I'm done with it. But that helps with the playback kind of holistically. It's uh, editor agnostic, if you will. Now, inside Resolve, we do have a bunch of solutions like I mentioned before. Let's go take a look at those. Now, my favorite is to actually right click on a clip and come up here and say, render cache color output. And then you should see a blue line above it. There it is, a red line. And it's blue as Resolve caches this to disk. And if you're asking where does Resolve store it, we'll get into that in just a moment when I go through the settings pages. Now that Resolve has fully rendered this out, it'll play back at 29.97. Look at that. Ta-da, it's great. So if it's a fusion clip, you can actually come up here to render cache fusion output and change it from auto to on. That'll do the same effect, but for fusion clips. This was changed in the edit page kind of as a color. Um, it That's just how Resolve works. So that's one way to do it. The other way is to right click on an individual clip and come up to generate optimized media. And Resolve will come up here and tell you how long it's gonna take. And then it should play back smoother. There's a caveat to that though. The other way I like to do it is to come up here to playback, come down to timeline playback resolution, and it's set to full. You can set it to half or quarter, and if I set it to quarter, when I come over here and I click play, you'll see it's fairly sharp there, but as I play, you can see it's kind of grainy. Grainier than usual YouTube compression. Actually, if we go full screen, you can see that there's a lot of jaggy lines and compression artifacts and it gets really bad and it looks like 1990s internet, that's the quarter resolution. So we have rendering fusion or color output. We have changing the playback resolution. You can change your timeline resolution. So if we go to our timeline, we can right click and go to timelines, timeline settings, and we can uncheck use project settings and you can change your timeline resolution. You can change this to 1080 if you're working in 4K or you know 2K if you're working in 8K, whatever you want. It'll make playback smoother and then just remember to change it back to the full resolution before you do your render, okay? Next, let's jump into the settings pages because that's gonna be important. So if you come up here to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, under system media storage, that's where it's gonna wanna store things. You need to mount this folder because when we cancel that out and we go into file, project settings, master settings, scroll down to optimize media and render cache, you can select your render cache quality and all the other stuff, the resolution, media format, etc. You can enable it to uh, start caching after one second, which is really cool. And then big thing here is the working folders. You have 
where it's gonna store proxy media. And I don't do proxy media. I, I haven't found a need for it. You may, you may wanna dive into this. There's plenty of other tutorials. I'm just trying to do something quick here today to get you 90% of the way there because I think that's pretty much good enough. Anyway, cache files, location, cache clip. That's gonna come up in a minute. So we're gonna cancel out of that. Along with the optimized media, you're gonna to wanna to go into playback and make sure use optimized media if available is selected. It's got a check mark next to it. See, I removed it and then I put it back. Now, as you're going through projects, you will create a ton of these clips and DaVinci Resolve stores them. Each frame is an individual file. So you get thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, of files to take up a lot of space. You do not have to remove most of them manually. I'm gonna show you how to manage it inside Resolve. So we're gonna go up to Playback and Manage Render Cache. And it could take several seconds for this to pop up, but it'll eventually get there. So we wanna click on Render Cache twice to sort it in descending. And you can select all of the projects that you want to clear out the cache for, and then click Clear Selected Cache. This will go through and delete almost all those files. Hold hold steady, we got a fix for that too. This is my folder where all of my cache clips are stored. You see that cache clip? This one, Optimized Media, if I double click that and I go in, you can see it's got one folder and it's from today. It's a Saturday night and I'm editing, well, recording a video, so yay for me. You can literally just go into Cache Clip and click on Optimize Media and hit the delete key and delete it. But those are the big settings. Literally, the color and fusion output rendering that, I mean, that makes a world of difference for me. And then I don't really do the Optimize Media often. It's usually those two renders and then playback at half or quarter resolution. It frees up some of the CPU to do other things. And like I said earlier, having SSDs is very important. If you wanna help uh, support the channel, the link below is an affiliate link, so no extra cost to you, but you will be helping me out a little bit, so I appreciate it, thank you in advance. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, boop the like button, maybe consider subscribing, and especially go check out this video next. It's probably another Fusion tutorial, because I do a lot of those. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're getting smoother playback in Resolve, and I'll see you all in the next video. John out.